All right, me and Gene Mills here at uh, Liberty High School in Ohio in the Columbus area. Gene, first off, awesome clinic today. Thank you. Let's talk about what, what 1980 Olympian, two-time NCAA champ Gene Mills is doing in life now. What's going on, Gene? Well, right now I am a high school phys ed teacher at Phoenix High School in Phoenix, New York. I am the wrestling coach there, which last year, uh, my eighth year, we ended up winning the state championships, which uh, was a lot of fun. Um, I'm married, wife, two kids. I have an 11 year old son and a 14 year old daughter, and my life basically evolves around them. But, you know, I, I go around, I still do a lot of clinics. You know, usually I'll do a, you know, a Friday, Saturday, or Sunday clinics and try and hit three different places on a weekend. Um, Talk about how hectic the weekend was. Well, like this weekend, Friday after school, I got on a flight, went down to New Orleans, uh, taught a clinic down there, got done. Yesterday, as soon as I got done, I took a flight up here, got here last night, up to Columbus, taught here all day, now I'm flying home to go see my wife and kids. And, um, you know, a couple of weeks ago, I did the same thing, where I went out to uh, Arizona and California. Uh, in two weeks, I'm going to go out to uh, do the coaches clinic out in Monterey, California, on Friday and Saturday, and uh, then do it, take a red-eye flight and teach one in uh, Jersey, probably on Sunday. Um, Two weeks after that, I'm doing one in Fort Lauderdale. I leave after school on uh, Friday, teach down there on Saturday, and then on the way back, I might be doing one in North Carolina. So I stay pretty busy. Uh, uh, that's an understatement, huh? Yep. Okay, now I noticed that you got the USA Wrestling, they're actually grappling shorts on. Talk about that a little bit. Well, last year, um, the grappling team was the first year they were having the feel of World Championships, and uh, Jason Townsend was one of the coaches and he uh, asked, called me and asked me if I'd come out to the training camp for submission wrestling and Where was teach that? the guys some stuff out in Irvine, California. It was at No Limits MMA in Irvine, California so I flew out there for a couple of days and uh, taught those guys for a couple of days and had a ball and it's awesome. So, you know how to tap people out, I never would have guessed. Okay. <laughs> I love it. <laughs> okay, uh, your, the culture of wrestling that you promote would be definitely top wrestling. I just like to pin from everywhere. I just think we should emphasize more taking guys to their back. Feet um, to back points? Yeah, feet to back because if you're going feet to stomach, um, basically, isn't that stalling? Um, why didn't you take him to his back? You should have just taken him to his back. If a guy attacks you, what are, you, are you supposed to stop them or are you supposed to put them on your back? I thought the object was to put the guy on their back. So for me, if a guy attacks me, my job is to put him to their back, not to stop that guy from taking me down. Um, on bottom, people try to get away for one point. To me, that's stalling. Why would I want to get away? I, I just want to put the guy on his back. I thought that was my job. On top, obviously, riding is stalling. So why not just try to turn a guy? And then every time you turn a guy, when you have him on his back for five seconds, that's five seconds you have to determine what your next turn's going to be. So if you have a half and you want to let him up into legs, now you change the hold and you can turn him with legs. And then you want to let him up with legs and put, let him up into an arm bar, Boom, now you got your next move set up. You got the arm bar and you want to let them up into a cradle. Now you have a different hold. As long as they're on their base, as long as the hold is changed, you can get more points. So that's how you can score a lot, a lot, a lot of points before you pin a guy. And even, even though now it's only 15. But. Do you uh, preach that a lot, to, obviously, to Phoenix High School? Oh, uh, yeah, yeah. I'm, I'm a preacher of that. <laughs> okay. And that, my whole team honestly believes that they get a takedown for two and not to the back. Everybody's asking, Why'd you do, why didn't you put him on his back? You know, they it to me it's an attitude for all my kids now. It's an attitude, and that's what they believe in. And we wrestle a lot of kids that are better than us. But six minutes is a long time for us not to at least possibly get them on their back once. And if we do that, we can end the match. So that's what we hope for. Okay, let's talk about how people. You know, you're in high demand. What do you do in the summers? Do you do any camps, or where are you at? I my wife and I run uh, pin to win wrestling camps, and and we actually run it out of a place in Pennsylvania, which used to be the old Russ Hawks wrestling camp, and we do that for two weeks. And besides that, I travel around the country and uh, do camps for other people. Okay, you do a lot of clinics. Do you have your own club in uh, what is it? Uh, Man, what is the name of the town in New York? Phoenix, New York. Phoenix, New York. Are you? Do you got your own club there? I have had two clubs. One club I've had for 26 years called the Mohawk Valley Wrestling Club, and we usually cap out enrollment at about 275 kids. Oh my goodness! Um, and then last year we had a, a wrestling grappling club called the CNY Pinduin Club, and that was wrestling and grappling. Where the other one was freestyle. Mohawk Valley is freestyle Greco, and uh, 
it was the first year we we started it, and we had fifty two kids try it, and I have a feeling we're gonna well we're gonna cap it out at eighty. So I, I just I don't want any more than that. Okay, so. in your wrestling club, you got two hundred and seventy some members. Two hundred seventy five kids a year. Okay, that where where is that located in Phoenix? Um, no, that's about a half hour away. Uh, we usually bump it back and forth each year to Canastota, New York, or Chittenango, New York. How many nights a week? Two nights a week, Tuesday, Thursday. My other clubs Monday, Wednesday. So you are four nights a week and weekends still living, breathing wrestling. Do you? I was going two nights a week with Mohawk Valley for twenty four years. Then the last two years, I've been doing one night at Mohawk Valley, and then my other coaches do the other night. Okay. One night at Phoenix, the other the other night, my uh, assistants, and um, so I still went two nights a week because I I really want to sp start spending more time watching my kids playing whatever they're doing. Usually they're playing baseball and lacrosse uh, in the spring, and I've been missing that, and it kind of bums me out, so I'm going to cut back a little bit, I think. Okay. What's next for Gene Mills? I know we, I know you got a flight to catch. Yeah. What's um, next? I don't know. I just uh, want to go home and spend some family time, and, you know, I'm looking forward to the season starting, but uh, I'm enjoying uh, the fact that I have a little more family time right now until then. So, um, in two weeks, I'll be out of Monterey, California, doing a coach's clinic, and be traveling around the country. Usually, I try and do it no more than every other weekend, because... I, I gotta keep the family first. Okay. All right, Gene. Definitely a family man, but we want to get you back here in Ohio. And hey, thanks for everything today. And anyone who wants to get with you in the summers, what are your weeks of camp in the summer? That's what we'll part on. Um, I have a technique and intensive camp, which is July 12th to 16th next year. Then I have a technique and competition camp, which is July 19th through 23rd. Uh, if you go to genemills.com, all the information is there for the camps, uh, DVDs, whatever. All right. and, and where I'm going to appear throughout the year. So if anybody wants to know if I'm coming to California or going here or going there, they can go to genemills.com. Oh, cool, he's coming to our state. We can go. See you there. All right. Mean Gene, thanks for your time. And you're not a mean guy in person, just if you got an opposite color single on. All right, Gene? That's right. Thanks, Gene. My pleasure.